So if somebody has hyperthyroidism, overactive thyroid, what symptoms do they get? What does the doctor look for? What does the patient have to think about? Bobby, have you ever had Red Bull? I haven't had Red Bull yet, but I've if seen go, it on the counters. If you go drink about four cans of Red Bull right at one after another, you get that symptom. It's a stimulant. Thyroid hormone, if you get too much of it, 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 it just hammers things. The heart beats hard, you tremor, you're nervous, you're shaky, you're sweaty. That's what causes But it doesn't go away in a few hours like it does with Red Bull. It's 24-7. So if somebody is sweaty, they're tremulous, their heart rate's going real fast. Can't sleep. They can't sleep. Uh, they feel hot all the time, throw the covers off, uh, something's going on. Do they gain weight or lose weight if they're body is over metabolizing. Yes. Which one? <laughs> they gain or lose weight, yes. Well, what happens is <laughs> the, the thyroid hormone accelerates the metabolism, but it stimulates the appetite. And so the patients eat a lot more and they burn up a lot more. That's why they, they're hot because they're, they're, it's like throwing more coals on the fire. They burn up and it forms heat. But whether they gain or lose weight depends upon that balance. You know, you can eat enough to where even if you burn up more, you still don't lose weight. But let me tell you now, if you're eating a lot more and you're not gaining weight, you got to ask yourself, what is wrong with this picture? If something's going wrong yeah, with this too picture. Too good to be true. Um, so most people will actually tend to lose weight without trying. And that's the key. Nobody loses weight without that's trying. trying. That's right. I think it's a hard thing to do. Yep. Uh, um, Tell me about muscle weakness. Is there any part of the body that gets weaker than others if somebody's got an overactive thyroid? Many patients will notice, uh, one of my patients actually told me, Dr. Long, my get up and go has got up and went. <laughs> they have lots of energy to start things, but you poop out, you can't finish. It's even just walking up a flight of steps, you know, <sighs> your heart's beating out of your chest, you know. Mm -hmm. Even things, sometimes just combing hair you know, your, your shoulder muscles get weak and you just have to stop and rest. So the, the overactive thyroid hormone, if you overuse muscles, can make those muscles go weak. Uh, what does it do to the heart? Well, it overstimulates the heart. And the problem is if his heart stimulates too hard, it doesn't beat nice and strong and hard like that. It starts fibrillating. And when it fibrillates, it's like water backing up behind a dam. The blood isn't being pumped. And you know what's downstream from the heart? The lungs. And they go into heart failure. So it can be a cause of heart failure. It's a common reason for our group to be consulted to see a patient in the hospital because they've gone into congestive heart failure in, in that fibrillation rhythm. How about if somebody has anxiety and they're nervous and they got tremulousness? Can the diagnosis be simply thyroid, not anxiety? Or is the diagnosis oh, missed? Oh, absolutely. Diagnosis missed sometimes because of that? Well, on the other hand, there's a whole lot of people that are just anxious and nervous and they don't have any thyroid trouble at all. Yeah, so you have to do the test. You so, can't tell by just how the patient feels. And how about sleep? What happens to sleep if you're overactive thyroid? Yeah, you, you get know. a lot of vacuuming done at three in the morning. <laughs> so you're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. 